was the lion god's closest. I took most patrols on my own. So when I met this strange lion, I had no fear of being alone. He said he had wisdom and power, and the most powerful should be king. With help from me and my roar, he and I could rule everything. I found his idea intriguing, though the most powerful lion was me. But the strange lion was scheming and had a friend I didn't see. subscribe to this youtuber hey everyone this is Shrek Grave here and today's video we'll be going to the top 10 most spoiled kids ever you think 6900 plus dollars no it's not it's like that 100% spoiled kid who wanted to use the family computer I don't know if somebody else was using it or they were trying to discipline him but he was told no and he wasn't very happy with that answer
you in the next one. Make sure you like on this video and also subscribe to my channel or else one day when you have a kid, if you do, they're going to be a super annoying temper tantrum having little... I would spank that ass. But this one's kind of funny, a little adorable at the same time, if I'm honest. This iPods. This one's a little bit different because it's not actually a kid freaking out. It's actually a mom kind of getting mad talking to GameStop employees. Uh, the story behind this is that this kid, he stole $100, that $100 bill. And on top of that, the credit card from his which obviously that is not a good thing to do. And he went to GameStop because he wanted to buy some games for it. He ended up getting caught by his grandmother and also his mother. The mother ended up going back into GameStop and then got mad at the employee. So because they let a little kid with a hundred dollars and a credit card buy games, which is kind of a silly argument, but here it is. If you would have came with a twenty dollar bill or something like that, I understand why why this would you know you guys would go ahead with the purchase. But he's coming here with credit cards. He's coming here with a hundred dollar bill, brand new hundred dollar bill. Buy him no adult supervision whatsoever, and you guys are okay with that? Yeah, because I'm not allowed to. Dis I don't know your guys' situation, so and I don't know you guys, so I can't say like, oh, you know, I, you know, that's a little weird. That would be wrong for me to turn his business away just because he's a little bit younger. Number five, you got a toddler who's already got some expensive taste. She's only 14 months old, so she's really, really young, and she obviously doesn't really understand the ramifications of her actions yet, but I figured I'd include it anyways, because it's funny. Uh, she somehow got on eBay, she was on, like, the iPad, or, like, her dad's phone or something like that, and uh, managed to get on eBay. I guess the information was already in there for the payment information, and she actually bought a car, albeit not, like, a full on like a toy car, like a play car, one of the bigger ones, uh, but it was still a couple hundred dollars. Little Sorella, who can't even say the word car, bought one. This 1962 Austin Healy Sprite, which she unwittingly bid on through an eBay app while playing its phone. Initial thoughts were panic. We're like, how do we get out of this? In the fourth part, we've got both kind of like a spoiled kid situation and all silly just not great parenting situation also at least that's my opinion looking at this because this is some security camera footage and the employees of this store are looking at it and kind of laughing at it quite frankly but this kid he was inside of this lobby and there was this display case i think it was like an eight thousand dollar display case i don't know what was inside of it all i know is that was the damage that was caused and this kid was pushing it around and moving it and stuff like that and the dad was just watching and i don't know why he didn't do anything about it but the kid continued to be, I guess, misbehaving, and eventually the damage happened. That was great. Alright. You were right here. Like you were I'm in literally... No, I ran seconds away. I think pretty much everybody's been in this situation. I think at the end of the day, everybody's at least at some point in their lives at least had a little bit of a spoiled mindset. And he's no different. He wanted to go to McDonald's and his mother, well, she, she said we had food at home, you know, and nobody's ever happy to hear that. You know, you want to go to McDonald's, get your chicken McNuggets, but... He, he was told no, and he wasn't happy about it. He threw a little bit of a temper tantrum, and it was just plain funny. What? You want a happy meal? You want a happy meal? Yes. No, no McDonald's today. We got a boy who went on to eBay. He wasn't supposed to be. The first place, but he really wanted an Xbox 360, so he snuck onto the computer and on eBay and started bidding on an Xbox 360. He ended up actually bidding on not only one, but I think two, um, which I don't know why you need two Xbox 360s, but uh, he thought he was only getting one. It was just a mistake on his part. Not the worst mistake. But he actually bid on them, quite frankly, because he meant to bid $75, 
but he ended up bidding $7,500, and the person selling them was quite happy to sell them for $7,500. Uh, luckily for this family, though, eBay was able to avoid the transactions and stuff, so things worked out. Quite interesting situation. He ended up actually